Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, I figured I would show you guys how I make a thumbnail for my channel. I get this question quite a bit and I'm not a technology channel. I probably do this the complete wrong way, but this is how I get my thumbnails for my channel to work well for me. And I like the way they look, so I figured I would share with you guys since I've had this question over and over throughout the years. Like I said before, I'm not a tech channel whatsoever, but this is just how I create my own. And let's get right into it. So this is my iPhone. I will link up in a card somewhere my app organization or like how I organize my apps. I'm not sure which order I am going to upload them in, but I am pretty sure that I am going to do this video second. So anyways, like I said in the previous video, if you watched it, this this is my photography folder here. So what I like to do is there are two apps that I really like to use, especially for my like, I like to call them hand videos. So these are my kind of overhead shot videos. So the first one I like to use is Afterlight. Um, let's see here, and this is the photo that I took. What I like to do also is I will just take a screenshot on my MacBook Pro um, in the file that I upload, if that makes sense, or the file that I download. Is it download? Yeah, it's download. See, I'm not a tech channel, you guys. So um, I just take a screenshot of this on my Mac and then I airdrop it to my phone and then that's how I get my image. And so clearly it's upside down right now. So in Afterlight, I take this little guy right here and then I can spin it around using this tool. So now it is the correct orientation. Um, with this little guy over here, see I'm clearly not a tech channel, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I need the 16 by nine, which is uh, the standard size for a YouTube thumbnail. And then I can make this really tiny, I can make it bigger, whatever I wanna do. So my main motivation always is to clip out, it's kinda of hard to see, but clip out all of the like surrounding like Mac stuff, the, like uh, my bottom bar and the top bar. Sometimes I need to wiggle this around a little bit, but I purposely angled this, so that's fine. It has a nice little grid in here which shows me what's kind of in the center and things like that. So I like this orientation. I like the way it looks already. So I did a little check and then it creates the image for me just like that. When I go into this little button over here, this is gonna be all of the imagery. So I can clarify it, I can make it, you know, however I wanna make it. If I decide I don't want anything done to this, I can just hit this little X and it'll go back to the original. So as for the brightness, I usually brighten up stuff quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna brighten this up to, I don't know, I think like, mm, like 20 looks good to me. Um, I usually like to start with it a little bit brighter because there's a couple of other functions in here that I play with as well. So the contrast I do play with and that's gonna help out that screen just a little bit. The screen is really hard. I mean, clearly I'm not a tech channel, as I said before, but um, the clarity and the saturation, which now I'm going into saturation right now, really um, helps with that. So it kind of makes it a little bit, you know, easier to see. And then exposure, I do quite a bit of exposure because I like, um, Gosh, I don't know. It's so weird, like I never really do this with like a phone image and the phone image is kind of weird looking. Um, usually I do like about 10 on the exposure. I'll just keep it at 10 and let's see what happens. And then I run all the way to the end here and then I do sharpening as well. So let's do sharpening and I do that quite a bit and I really like the way that, that looks, especially on the hand videos. And let me go right back to um, the exposure again and see what it looks like after I sharpen it. Yeah, I kind of still like the original way it looked. So we're gonna go with that. Usually I like this a lot whiter and brighter, but since I have like a phone there, it's not gonna get any whiter. So anyway, now I'm done with this. So we're gonna say done and we're gonna save it. And then now I go into Fonto, which is the way that I lay text over my thumbnails. So I'm gonna go into my little camera icon and I'm gonna go to photo albums because I already saved what I wanted and it's right here, so perfect. And then you can apply different filters over this stuff. Um, I'm usually not a fan of doing that because I've already played with it enough. So I'm gonna go with my original image. Once in a while I do play with it a little bit, but um, and then you just kind of click on the image and then you write, you put add text. So 
here's what I do. And this is probably like a really janky way to do it, but I don't care. <laughs> so I use, uh, first of all, I use just a little period and then I create about three to four spaces and then I write my text over it. So um, I'm going to write something about dating apps because when I was filming the video, it was like almost in every category I felt like there was a dating app and like none of them really work for me. So I kind of was kind of complaining a little bit about the dating apps and I don't know, it was just kind of funny. So I'm gonna write so many dating apps exclamation point. And then I'm going to do a couple more spaces and then another period. And I'll explain why I'm going to do the periods in just a moment. So another thing I like to do is I like to capitalize all of the words that I use on the thumbnail image. I don't know why I feel like it just looks better for me. I don't know. You guys might think differently. But that's okay. So anyway, now that I have the wording the way I want it, that's great. Um, and the font, you can choose any kind of font you want. Right now I'm using Anton. That one comes with this app. There are also other fonts that you can download because I've downloaded several of them over the years, but I'm, right now I'm using one that's already in the Fonto app. So I just say done. And clearly this is way too big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into style and we're gonna go into stroke, which stroke means is that we are going to use a color that's gonna go kind of around the text. And I'm gonna use, hmm. I don't know, let's see, what color should I use? Maybe I'll use like an orangish color. And then you can kind of play with it. Um, the width I usually like about 15-ish mm, or so. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment because it's probably looking a little weird right now. Um, and then you can kind of play with the color to see what you want. Actually, this yellow kind of looks really nice. So we're gonna stick with yellow. And then we're gonna be, oh, we're not gonna be done with that yet, I'm sorry. See, I'm not a tech channel, y'all. <laughs> and then as for the background, I go with white. And then as for this alpha, it's at one. So we are going to um, make that a little bit more transparent. And I just kinda brush it down just a little bit, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but um, yeah, so usually I'm around like 90, 90 to 80, somewhere in there. So I like I like the image to peek through just a little bit, but not to have it so harsh, harshly white. As for the size, you go into the little size button. So I'll make that a little bit smaller here. And then I still need to make it a whole lot smaller. Let's keep going, whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, oh, keep going again. And keep going, keep it going. <laughs> All right, so now I'm about where I need to be on this. So then I usually make a determination if I want it to be angled or if I want it to be straight on. Um, this one I kind of like straight on, to be honest. And if I want to move this, I can kind of bump it up, move it over, um, and things like that. So here is the reason why I do the little periods on the side is because if I don't, my white background will not, it'll only go to the very edge of the text. It won't go further. So those get basically deleted or it doesn't show up on the image when I save this. So like I said before, I kind of like the way that this looks straight on. I know I've had actually a couple of questions as to like how I decide what's gonna be tilted to the right or to the left or straight on. I just kind of look at it and go, yeah, that looks good. So <laughs> that's that's all I do. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of pull this down just a little bit. And yeah, I kind of like the way that that looks. Actually, I want to go up just a little bit because if you can see, there's like a little fox ear right there. And I want to kind of cover that up because it just looks a little funny. And then... It looks pretty centered, but I do want to move it just a little bit. And sometimes when you use your finger, it doesn't like work really well. So um, I'm going to just push this over just a little bit and that looks good to me. Another thing you can do is you can add other images and things like that to your thumbnail. So I don't need to do that, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you just kind of click this little left hand button. You add an image. I usually go to my favorites. That's usually where all of my like specific like store images are at. So say I wanted to use like my own image, um, I could, and then I can make this a different size, like the FDE, you know, thing, but um, I'm not gonna use it today. So I am going to go and remove that. So, but you can put it on there. That's how I do it for like my grocery store hauls and like things like that. So anyway, 
But um, I am gonna go into add text again, and then I am gonna go into my emojis because I want to put in like a little kind of dating thing um, because I was just kind of laughing hysterically about that. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to put in maybe this one. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks kind of funny on here. So I don't know, I don't like that one. So let's go back into text. Maybe I'll do like a little kissy thing. Isn't there like a little ki Yeah, here we go. Here's like a little kissy thing. Okay, we could do this. So you can make it bigger. You can um, tilt it so you can spin it around, you know, whatever you want to do. So I think I'm going to spin it like this. Um, maybe a little bit more tilt that away. Perfect. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's any other things that I want to put in here. And a lot of times, to be honest, I already kind of know what I'm going to do with my thumbnails, but not always. So I don't know. You just, you just never know how the wind is going to strike you. I think I'm going to use this one. All right, so that, this is a funny one. Okay, good deal. All right, I'm gonna make this little guy a little bit bigger. Normally I don't, I mean, I don't always use emojis. I do really like using emojis. I feel like it's kind of more interesting for me to look at. I don't know, like as a consumer of content, I kind of like that a little bit. Um, let's see here. Let me move this a little bit more. Let's see. Sure, sure. Now I'm just kind of messing with things. Nope. All right, and this is where, like, if things are close together, you kind of get, not in trouble, but, you know, it kind of messes with you a little bit. Okay, over to the right, I don't have anything, and that kind of doesn't bother me anymore. There was so much, like, negative space in between the two that it kind of bugged me, but I think that this looks good. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of like a laughing person, and then, like, also, like, the kid, like, the little lips are kind of referencing the so many dating apps. <laughs> So anyway, but I figured this is kind of what I'm gonna go with um, if I did wasn't showing my phone and it was clearly a like technology phone video I would have put an icon of a phone, but it's kind of redundant I feel like in this video or I mean I should say in this thumbnail But anyway, that's how I do it and then um, also once I'm done I will hit this little thing and I will save my image and it's saved and then ah, then it gives me an ad, <laughs> but that's all right. And then all I do is I just airdrop it right to my computer as I'm uploading and then as I'm uploading, I put it on my YouTube thumbnail. So now it's in my camera and it's right here and that's what it looks like. So that's how I create my thumbnails. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Clearly I'm not a technology person and there's probably so many other things and better ways to make these, but this is just how I do it and it works well for me. If you guys are YouTubers or create thumbnails, let me know in the comments down below how you create your thumbnails and what apps might work really well for you. I have considered buying Photoshop and learning that, but you know, it's so darn expensive and I like the way that my thumbnails look just the same, so I can't justify the expense. But anyway, let me know how you guys use yours. I'd love to know in the comments down below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Can't get it in the frame, here we go. <laughs> make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. You can always hit the little red bell notification if you wanna be notified when I upload new content. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you